The next module we are going to look into is principle B, that is fidelity and responsibility. This principle suggests that psychologists should establish the relationship of trust with whom they work. This is very much important that when we are designing any intervention, any therapeutic uh, situation, we need to see that all the co-workers should work in uh, harmony. अगर हमें एक दूसरे पर ट्रस्ट नजर नहीं आ रहा होगा अगर थेरेपी के गोल्स क्लियरली ऑब्जेक्टिव्स क्लियरली सारे लोगों को पता नहीं होंगे तो मे बी कुछ हिडन पॉइंट्स की वजह से कुछ स्टेजेस के ऊपर काफ़ी कॉम्प्लिकेशंस जो हैं वो हो सकती हैं बिकॉज इफ वी कीप थिंग्स इन सीक्रेसी तो ऑब्जेक्टिव ही क्लियर नहीं है तो एवरी इज़ वर्किंग इन डिफरेंट डोमेन दे आर अवेयर ऑफ द प्रोफेशनल एंड साइंटिफिक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज टू सोसाइटी and the specific communities in which they work this is very important that whatever the community setting in which the psychologist is working he should be very well aware of that uh us situation ki jo truthfulness hai us situation ki jo background reality hai agar wo nahi pata to koi bhi uh, therapy koi bhi experiment uh, successful nahi ho sakta uh social psychology mein uh, Mostly student of psychology may have know this कि Margaret Mead, a child rearing practices को understand करने के लिए एक tribe में जाकर uh, as an observant uh, कुछ time गुजारा फिर वहाँ पर ही अपनी permanent residence की उसके बाद वहाँ शादी की वहाँ पर अपना बहुत सारा time spend किया अपनी पूरी life dedicate कर दी social psychology के एक aspect को समझने के लिए by being the participant of that very society that very system. you know that is where you can say that this is the example of fidelity this is the example of responsibility where actually you spend whole of your life investing one single thing that what could be the best child rearing practices in that tribal area and there are many other examples jisme different researchers ne apne aap ko us situation ka ek actual hissa banaya aur uske andar apne apne heart ko apne soul ko invest kiya and then they dig out some इम्पॉर्टेंट ह्यूमन एस्पेक्ट्स एंड फाइंडिंग्स जो आज हमारी साइकोलॉजी की फाउंडेशन के तौर पर अंडरस्टैंड की जाती हैं सो साइकोलॉजी शुड अप होल्ड द स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ कंडक्ट क्लैरिफाई देयर प्रोफेशनल रोल्स एंड ऑब्लिगेशन एक्सेप्ट अप्रोप्रिएट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर देयर बिहेवियर एंड सीक टू मैनेज कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दैट कुड लीड टू एक्सप्लाइटेशन एंड हार्म now when we talk about that to accept responsibility of their behavior by saying that agar hum identify nahi kar pa rahe kisi psychopathological behavior ko exact personality disorder ko let's say there is a very fine line difference when you actually in person see a patient coming with bipolar disorder and a person who has history of depression anxiety and stress there is a very fine line different in adolescence to identify at what stage the depression may turn up into schizophrenic symptoms so continuous vigilance professional competence acceptance of the of your role providing the appropriate history taking to psychiatrist these are the social responsibilities these are the professional responsibilities and also to manage the conflict of interest at times we understand that the person is coming from a very affluent background he may not have a uh, certain kind of habits which are client who is coming back from maybe a very meager background aur hum kehte hain isme stealing ki habit ho sakti hai isme nahi hogi isme good manners ho sakte hain isme bad manners ho sakte hain so you know we just can't label them on the basis of our prior judgment we can't just base them on uh, whatever relation we have with anyone around us agar wo koi hamare relatives mein se hai family mein se hai so we just can't see them as patients तो ये सब चीज़ें जो हैं वो हमारी फाइडेलिटी एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी का एक पार्ट होती है यू शुड पार्टिसिपेट इन इन दोज एक्टिविटीज डेट इनहेंस द एथिकल कॉम्प्लाइंस एंड कंडक्ट ऑफ देयर कोलीग्स इसके लिए फेयरनेस ओपननेस और एक ऐसा कंड्यूसिव इन्वायरमेंट होना बहुत ज़रूरी है जहाँ पर ओपन डायलॉग्स हो सकें साइकोलॉजिस्ट कंसल्ट विद रेफर टू और कॉपरेट विद अदर प्रोफेशनल एंड इंस्टीट्यूशन टू द एक्सटेंड needed to serve the best interest of those with whom they work collaborations are very important at time we we understand that in community there are the certain experts who can deal with certain problems so if there are 
specific clients who are very complicated and you don't have expertise to deal with those specific clients, you must send them to the professionals who are more capable than you. Or is me wohi batati hai ki if you are open to yourself, if to if you are true to yourself, you know that what are your areas of expertise and in in which which field you can do your best. Or pe dusre ke liye aapko appropriate referrals karne honge. For example, serving as mentor, taking part in peer review and pointing out ethical concerns or misconduct indicate how this principle might be put into action. Isi tarah, jab hum research ki reporting ki baat karte hain, is mein agar ek senior researcher hai, jis ne ek specific research ko design kiya hai, aur us research ko design karne ke baad, wo uske upar different logon se peer review nahi lega to maybe wo uska apna brain child hai wo usko itna perfect lage ki wo uske koi loopholes identify na kar sake so at times we need to see the peer reviews isiliye journals mein publication ki policies mein you see that blind peer review is one of a very important thing because this is very much related to fidelity and responsibility principle now what does the statement of value carries for this principle Psychologists value the continuing development and maintenance of high standard of competence in their professional work, either in term of therapeutic intervention, either in term of publishing their work. In order to do so, they should first recognize limits of their skills, training, knowledge, education, and experience. Because not not every professional is same, not every individual is same. Uphold the professional accountability. You really need to see that upholding the professional accountability means that in certain scenario, one need to behave in a very ethical manner, in a very professional manner, while giving the publication credit to anyone, while giving the publication rights to anyone. We just can't, you know, include anyone's name into a publication just to bribe them, just to make them happy. Because if this research is not being conducted by a specific person, it should not be. You know, given credit for that specific uh, uh, research project. So this is all about the principle of fidelity and responsibility, and it contains a very important uh, position in ethical principles.